Hello neighbor, I'm Robert Burns, Vice President of the Louisiana Association of Professional Auctioneers, otherwise known as LAPA. I wanted to take just a few moments to address uh, the statements that uh, Board Member James Sims provided with regard to the reasons that they gave for denying the LAPA $5 processing fee. But I don't want to put words into Mr. Sims' mouth, so let's break for just a moment and hear his official explanation of why they chose not to approve this $5 processing fee versus your regular $150 renewal fee. Let's take a brief break and listen to what he had to say. The board should be aware of the last 24 months or so due to lawsuits filed against the board. We have a retained additional counsel, which is Larry Langston. During that period of time, we have spent $40,586 at 254 that brings the total cost to $161.91 for auction year in this whole state all 254 a total of a year's license plus $11.91 with these legal fees going on and the expense, unnecessary expenses being caused to this board by lawsuits being filed against it, I make a motion that the current license fee of $150 remain intact. All right, now that you've heard Mr. Sims' official explanation for why the LALB did not approve the $150, I mean the $5 processing fee, let me just make a few corrections of what Mr. Sims said. Mr. Sims said we went out and hired Larry Bankston due to lawsuits on behalf of myself and Reverend Freddie Phillips. At the time the board hired Larry Bankston, there was not one lawsuit filed. Period. Okay? And if you go back and look at the invoices of Mr. Bankston, which he and the board did not want to provide to me without them being redacted, I had to threaten to take them to court to get unredacted invoices, what do we see? They weren't defending lawsuits by Reverend Phillips and I. Instead, the board was taking the aggressive position. We're going after Mr. Burns. We're going to pursue his auction license. Not only that, they did so covertly. They didn't even have a meeting to approve Mr. Bankston's hiring. And the second he got hired, look at his early invoices. What's he doing? Pursuing Robert Burns. Okay? So that's point number one that's incorrect about Mr. Sims' statement. Point number two is that if you go in and look at the invoices of Mr. Bankston, a significant proportion of them pertain to Ken Bueller, not Robert Burns and Freddie Phillips. It's right there. We provided for you by column who his charges are assessed to. Thirdly, in addition to going after my license, when the board couldn't hire, apparently couldn't hire an attorney competent enough to put out a written subpoena to have me testify, what did they do? They filed a writ of attachment. Who was the plaintiff? The LALB, not Robert Burns. And as you saw, that was over $2,300 of LALB money flush right down the toilet only to have Judge Hernandez laugh that thing right out of the courtroom. Now the reality is that this board is hell bent on perpetuating corruption. And I will hand it to you if you're going to need an attorney to help perpetuate corruption, you need to be one, you need to hire one who's been there. And despite Ms. Uh, Jacobs Levy's statements that, oh, he's never been censored by any court that I'm aware of, and I've been practicing for 43 years, so if he had been, I think I'd be aware of it. She either exposes gross ignorance of her own profession, because the trial happened right there in his backyard, wherein Mr. Bankston was sentenced to 30, well, he was sentenced to 41 months in federal prison. He served 33 months of that pre uh, federal prison sentence. For what? for accepting a bribe while he was serving as a Louisiana state senator. So, if you're going to need to perpetuate corruption, I would concur they did the right action in hiring an attorney who has what? 
nothing to lose. Let's face it, Mr. Bankston's reputation is shot. It's tattered. So he has nothing to lose. Okay, now those have set a few things straight on Mr. Sims's explanation there. As Mr. Sims and many other members of the board are so prone to do, they will twist whatever set of facts they need to twist in order to make myself and Reverend Phillips look worse. And the reality is they had no reason, they had no justification that they couldn't uh, implement the $5 processing fee. The LALB is floating in money. It's floating in money, okay? They didn't like the idea that this would be something that LAPA President Reverend Freddie Phillips had proposed, so they weren't about to do it. In fact, you had LAA leadership, President Wiley Collins, as well as prominent other LALB, LAA member, Barbara Bonnet, saying, I'd rather have a $500 licensing fee than a $5 licensing fee. It's ironic, given that only about a year ago, Ms. Bonnet was showing up at meetings claiming that all these licensing fees from the Motor Vehicle Commission, the LALB, they were all out of hand. Out of hand, too much. Now all of a sudden she says, I'd rather pay $500 license fee than a $5 license fee. Now, the one thing that Mr. Sims said that was accurate is that the board has now spent approximately $42,000 for Mr. Larry Bankston. And I have no doubt they're going to continue spending that money because they do not want us exposing transparency. Make no mistake, we are fully committed to providing the auctioneers and the, member of the, the, the members of the public of this state with transparency. And if, as far as I'm concerned, all right, Mr. Bankson is at 42,000, I'll just conclude this video by saying this. I'm going 42, but he get 50 for 50, now 55, now 50, 50 for 5, now 60, 60, now 65, so thanks for now 70, 70, now 75, we get 80, but 80, now 85, over here, now, 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 we get even 90, 90, now 95, I'm going to 90, we get 90, now 100, and Mr. Bankston laughs all the way to the bank. So that ought to set the record straight for you a little bit on just uh, the board's official explanation for denying the LAPA $5 processing fee. Appreciate the time you've taken to tune this in. Hope you found it quite beneficial. Look forward to seeing you, Mr. Sims, at the next LALB meeting. Thank you very much.